Social Security reform, Medicare reform, the Affordable Care Act, Entitlement Society, international spying, stem cell research, global warming, the energy policy. It seems that everyone has an opinion about these issues and few want to change it. A reader recently wrote me from Pakistan. How can we open closed minds? I have a person who does not want to listen to any arguments or logic. I had a feeling there was a long story behind that email. The process of getting someone to open their closed mind is much like getting someone to open a closed home. As a young newlywed, I moved to Okinawa while my husband served in the military. We live near Kadena Circle in off-base housing, not the best part of the island. It was the first time I traveled outside the United States, outside the United States, much less lived outside my country of birth. So I took seriously all those precautions that the military gives. We kept the outer gate between the two concrete walls surrounding our yard closed and locked at all times. The steel bars across our windows that held the shutters tight were always in place. Every evening we slid those two inch thick wooden shutters under those heavy iron bars. We slid them across the window, locked them. In addition to locking out those intruders that we imagined would crawling through our windows, we limited contact to a very small circle of friends. I didn't speak Japanese, so meeting the neighbors was rather useless. My outings consisted of little more than driving off the base, go to the, to the compound, get groceries, go to the chapel, go to military get-togethers with a few friends, but pretty much I was confined to the base. We invited a few friends over but that was about it. But then I saw how freely other people lived. Their windows were open, except during typhoon watches, of course. If they had more than one family car with the narrow driveways and the streets leading up to the homes, I noticed that they often left their cars parked outside, outside the gates of their house, actually out on the streets. And I began to notice that they shopped in the open local markets for vegetables and fruits, something that the military cautioned us was very unhealthy. The women even got their hair cut at the local one-room, one-chair hair salons on every corner. Within a few weeks, I had flung open the doors to enjoy the experience in Okinawa. I was sunbathing on the rooftop, walking downtown alone to shop, I left the driveway gates open from time to time, unlocked. I was watching my Filipino neighbors grill a pig outside on the adjoining patio. I was driving freely to work on the other end of the island, just with no fear at all of my safety. What made the change from closed up tight to totally open in that situation? Well, one, I was feeling safe. Two, Others were operating freely in that same environment. Three, nobody was forcing me, totally on my own. It was my choice. And four, internal motivation. I, I saw advantages of being able to move and shop and go here and there freely. So how do these same reasons, how do these same reasons apply to opening closed minds? Well, let's think about it this way, feeling safe. People open their minds to conversation, discourse, arguments when they feel emotionally safe, when they trust others not to ridicule them or reject them for their, view, their, their viewpoints, their beliefs, or their values. And then seeing others operate freely in the same environment has an effect too. People open their minds as they see other people discussing issues with an open mind, asking questions, listening to other people's answers, considering other perspectives. When they hear others whom they respect offer different beliefs, they start to see those opposing viewpoints as having some merit. And then I mentioned absence of force. It's human nature to meet force with force. You push, the other person pushes back. Logic rarely wins an argument. Typically, 
The persuasion of logic frames a debate, an open discussion, airing of different ideas. And then I mentioned internal motivation as a reason for changing a closed mind or opening a closed mind. People change their viewpoint or decide to do something for their reasons, not yours or mine. Mentioning benefits and advantages often promotes them to adopt another viewpoint, to take action, to change their behavior. Consider opening a closed mind an inside job. What thoughts could you add to this discussion? Judge your comments in the comment blocks below.